citizens, treatment for the sick or wounded. Get him! Well, was it worth dying for? Not so close, Adi Herif. Easy now. Tarek sent me. Only you? Why not more? I am enough. Where are your men? Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was just to look like a slave and managed to escape. But the others? Are you a capable fighter? I like to think so. Well, when you are certain, come find me. Did you happen to see that? We caught another of the Sultan's spies lurking about. A woman this time, disguised as a harlot of low birth. <laughs> Sending his harem girls now, eh? It seems the Sultan is running out of skilled fighters. Where did you take her? Inside, into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge. How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? A few weeks at most. Janissaries will know I have betrayed them by now. But do they have the resources for retribution? Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. <laughs> what the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so... fragile. <laughs> Shakuru, try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. You, take the woman from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Shakuru, I don't have the key. Find it! Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has it. He's on leave in the market. But prevention is the best cure, I always say. Assassin! Die! Traitors! You think you can outrun us? Ah! 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 Ah!
taken prisoner. Poor men. Allah said he could toss him. That Turkman renegade did this. Shah Kuhu. I'll kill him! Wait! You do not cooperate very well. I'm here to rescue my men, not make friends. Right there. That armor is too thick for bullets. I will have to get in close. Jonas, we have to help him. Out of murder, deserve no pity. Can you walk? Evet. The rifles you brought, they should be destroyed. Most of them don't actually work. But the gunpowder is real. We could not fake that. Bene. Keep out of sight until you hear the explosions. Then, you run. Explosions? If you do that, all hell will break loose. You will panic the entire city. See, si. I am counting on it. And then what? Then I find Manuel Palea Logos. I know that man. Wow, he's got a sharp beard. You'll regret being born. He won't be born.
Another trader. Foreign master for Kaya. Sabotage, Manuel. You need to take cover. Get out of my way. Citizens, soldiers, compose yourselves. Do not give in to fear. We are the true shepherds of Constantinople. We are the lords of this land. We are Byzantines. Borayo, stand fast. Do not let anyone break it. Oh, Skata. Stop that man! Cut him down! You take advantage of a poor and displaced people. You sing us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fair hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. I should have been Constantine's successor. He had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Ah, but I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What a man, Byzantine. These are only labels. Costumes and facades. We need these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. And seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Poor Manuel. Last of the Paleologi. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man. Impossible to keep in line. You 
Disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds that pit father against son, brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body, with one mastermind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf Keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sofia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing! Leave her be! We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her! I know you'll try. Nicola Polo, our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. Grazie. So? Where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. He is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Thank you, Mentor. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close. Let's go. Let's move. Over here! <laughs> All right, this way. Let's move. Father, are you hurt? Uh, give me a moment. <clears throat> uh, the end of an era.
When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I had possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message for whom? I wish I knew. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind their Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia, and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche, Ezio Auditore. brother. Requiescat in pace. Brothers, sisters, the whole city rises against us, while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me. ...and show him what it means to cross the Assassins! Come on! 
The next Sultan would be an easy kill. You have been a thorn in my side long enough, assassin. Your time has come, assassin. Where is she? <laughs> Such fury. Where is she? If you think you are in a position to negotiate, kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library, and I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough. I had Ahmed tailed as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear... all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem, stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. Mentor? Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. 
Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women, and to maintain the dignity of our order, as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower, and wait for my command. I admire you, Ezio, but your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio, not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded a hero. More or less. Now, the keys. First, the girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! Tell your men to back off. She's all yours. Not, not hurt, but very confused. I did not mean to drag you into this. I am sorry. <laughs> you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? Run!
Hold on! Ah! Hang on, Sophia! Look out! Ezio! I don't think so. Hold on. Obviously. Oh no. Va bene. I am all right. Soldiers, up ahead. I see them. Sophia, more soldiers. Determination would be charming if it was not so infuriating.
Now it's you. How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Oh! Soldiers! Selim is not your master! You serve the Sultan! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. <coughs> Selim! Stop! Please! <coughs> so, you are the assassin. Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> you did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion. What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live. The tales we tell ourselves. Don't do this. I'm saving you, idiot. Go! Go! Write these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Ak right now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession and all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf, and once there, into Altair's library to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister. For it is late, and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. Such a climb. È così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began thousands of years ago, but here it was reborn. By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up, then set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. And the mandate for menacing hoods? Was that his idea as well? <laughs> You mentioned a creed before. What is it? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That is rather cynical. It would be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile, and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions, and that we must live with their consequences, whether glorious or tragic. 
Do you regret your decision? To live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life... It chose me. For three decades, I have served the map. Three of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself and let them go. Let go of all of this. Then let go. You will not fall far. The end of the road. You had better come out of there alive. I plan to. to my books. Yes. Some we sent with the Polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. To our family, what does the apple say? Who were the ones who came before? What brought them here? How long ago? Get rid of that thing! This is my duty, Maria. If you are asked, say I sent the apple away. Tell them I sent it to Cyprus or Sipango or that I dropped it into the sea. Tell them anything to keep men away from this place. This apple must not be found. Not until the time is right.
another artifact. No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind, like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could, not knowing its purpose but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. But I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we, who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? To speak across centuries? Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. Do you hear me, Cypher? Can you see me? Ah, there you are. Good. A strange place, this nexus of time. I am not used to the calculations. That has always been Minerva's domain. I see you still have many questions. Who were we? What became of us? What do we desire of you? You will have your answers. Only listen, and I will tell you how. Both before the end and after, we sought to save the world. We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground to avoid the war which raged above, and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. It was our duty, mine, Minerva's, and Juno's, to sort and sample all that was collected. We chose those solutions which held the most promise and devoted ourselves to testing their merits. Six we tried in succession, each more encouraging than the last, but none worked. And then the world ended.
hearth shook for days. The fires burned for weeks. And when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived. And far fewer of ours. But we carried on together to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my words, pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. Look, his vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's... he's moving. Desmond, can you hear me? Son? I know what we need to do.
Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. <laughs> 